Today's devotional can be found in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. But take heed, lest any me by any means this liberty of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. Okay. The thought of liberties and freedoms and defending the liberties and freedoms from those who wish to take them away should lighten our heart and make us feel strong and make us feel like with the help of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ we can do anything. And it's true. The thought of liberty and defending it should motivate us to turn to our Creator and our Savior for help in defending that which is precious to us, but we won't lose it even when the adversaries come calling. But there are those who consider themselves weak. There are those who consider turning to God and Jesus Christ a weakness. There are those who work to get through life by themselves and they think that they have all their power, even though without God and Jesus Christ they are weak. Because the Lord giveth all that we need to be able to get through life. He gives to everyone their own gifts and capabilities. I mean, they're gifts from God. We just didn't naturally have them. But there are those who do not think to protect their liberties every day. There are those who take the liberties and freedoms we have for granted. There are those who think that they don't have to do anything and their liberties will never be threatened. And that is a stumbling block, for they do not know that in order to preserve their liberties, they need to be willing, at least willing to protect them, if not actively protect them from those who try to take them away. Because they are so wrapped up in themselves and what they can do on their own. Some people do not see that it is by the atonement of Jesus Christ that we have temporal and eternal liberty at all. That it's because of the atonement that we don't have to focus on ourselves, that we can focus on improving ourselves enough that we may be able to help others and that we can focus on our true value as children of God. And that... We need to take heed and realize if we really cherish our liberties and what is important to us, we will be willing to defend it, even at the sacrifice of our lives, if necessary, because there are those who will try to take our freedoms away in, ma in favor of making themselves more free than they are. Because some people don't like our freedoms and what well, we hold dear to us. So they try to impose their own freedoms upon other people and pass them into law of men so that they, so that the freedoms of those who don't protest are taken away in favor of that which does not make a person free. And we shouldn't be afraid to defend what we hold precious to us, because if it's really precious, we'll be willing to take care of it, willing to protect it, that future generations may enjoy it as well. Because if nobody defends, if everybody views what they hold precious to them as a mere stumbling block to what they think is freedom, those will be taken away and they will be left with an illusion that will someday fade. But it's everyone's choice whether or not they want to view liberty as 
actually liberating or is a stumbling block to that which they think is freedom. And with that said, I love you all so very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.